studio. So excited to have you here this morning. Uh, this is Megan Irvin. She was crowned Miss Quincy back in March and just two weeks ago she was crowned Miss Illinois. It is our pleasure to welcome Rushville's own Megan Irvin. Good morning. Good morning. Happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Well, we are excited that you had your big homecoming yesterday and uh, you're kind of making the, the tour around the tri-state area today. Now, we do have a picture to show you of your crowning moments. If okay. you could think about what, what were you thinking at that moment? It was just absolute shock, disbelief, but at the same time, a feeling of relief and the feeling that all of my hard work and anticipation from from the last two years had built up to that moment that I was once again there hand in hand with someone just as I had hoped to be. I, I was crying before they even had announced my name. I was just thrilled to be in that position again. And then that that little minute as they sit there and tell you the prizes that you'll receive and explain the duties of Miss Illinois, it seemed to be like an hour, you know, you're just standing there just hoping, come on, come on, come on, it's just so much anticipation. And then as they say your name, your heart just literally drops mm -hmm. to the bottom of your stomach. It was it, the most exciting moment of my entire life. Absolutely, and something that you have been working towards for such a long time. Yes, yes, for a very long time. And I was first runner up last year. Mm -hmm. So I made that decision to put the last year as, as much as of myself as I could into preparing mm -hmm. and coming back and giving it my all. And if it was in God's plan, then it would happen. And if not, then I was just going to be done and know that I did everything I possibly could with no regrets. Absolutely. And of course, many people um, kind of think, oh, it's a crown and it's a sash, but this is a job for you. This is something mm -hmm. that you have made a commitment for for the entire year. It is. It's a year long job title and mm -hmm. my duties include speaking at numerous organizations, being the state ambassador for Children's Miracle Network, mm -hmm. promoting my personal platform as well as character counts and serving as a role model and leader for my voice in the political world within communities and for passions that for my, that my, for my own self. Absolutely, and tell us a little about uh, your platform. Um, it's just an amazing platform and it touches so many different areas. It does, and my platform originally started as a very fitness mm -hmm. and health-based program for childhood obesity, and that's of course where my degree is and my line of focus for study at Western Illinois mm -hmm. University, but it has morphed, so to speak, into the heptathlon of healthy habits. Mm -hmm. So we have seven elements to this more holistic view of health, so of course I still have nutrition and my passion for fitness, but we're also including spirituality, recycling, reading and education, community service, and then something very new, distracted driving. I do, here in Illinois, we have the opportunity to have the state sponsorship from State Farm Insurance. So one of my duties as Miss Illinois is to be a ambassador for distracted driving and actually take pledges from schools around the state for texting and driving. Yes, and so in addition, to all of that, your platform, you're also preparing for Miss America. Yes, which and is I'm actually still in shock about yes, that. <laughs> it's on ABC, which we are excited about here. Um, tell us a little about how you're going to do the th 300 plus appearances plus prepare yourself uh, to be on the Miss America stage. Well, I've always been a very busy person and involved in a lot of activities mm -hmm. growing up. And as Miss Quincy, I kept very busy. I traveled a lot. I tried to get involved as, with as much as I could to prepare me for this job title. And it's really been an easy transition, su surprisingly. It's been a whirlwind, but I've enjoyed every last minute of it. And it'll just be about balancing time and making sure that when I'm not on appearances, I am preparing with my preparation team and interviewing and making sure I'm on top of current events and really practicing my talent as much as I can. Absolutely. After here, you're leaving and going to the Y, but you'd like to come back so people can book you if they want. Yes, I actually have a business manager now, which is still quite a shock to me to <laughs> be, have to say that. You have to talk to my business manager. But You have name, people now. I have people now, as they <laughs> say. Her name is K.L. Robertson Daly, and you can get her information at www.missillinois.org and she has access to my schedule and books me and works with people on appearances. Okay, wonderful. Well, Megan, we're not done with you yet. You're gonna put us through a bit of a, a workout, maybe even a boot camp <laughs> later on in the show. So we we're, look forward yes, to that. Yes, we are going to do some exercise basics, some things you can do at home. A lot of it is with your own body weight. Welcome back to KHQA this morning on this fine Monday morning outside on the patio. Gonna mm -hmm. get our workout on with Miss Illinois, Megan Irvin, who is here. Her platform is Childhood Obesity. And uh, she explained a little earlier in the show that she's got several platforms that she's mm -hmm. working on, kind of under healthy living as well. Megan, come on in. And uh, 
first, how important is working out in, in your life? It's very pre 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 prevalent, prevalent. <laughs> in early. my life. Um, I've actually been immensely involved with sports and activities and health since I was a young girl. And it's, I always say it's a funny fact about me, but even back when I was like five, six years old, I'd be in front of the TV on infomercials for like Bowflex or Denise Austin's infomercials on TV, yes. mocking her exercises <laughs> and like making up my own and trying Good. to show my family. So it's very important. And it's what I w got my degree in at Western with exercise science and a minor in dance. It's what I did for a living before I took over this took new this. Job, job title. And so. I see the crown goes wherever you go, even yeah, in your workout Yeah, clothes, it's, so. it's on there pretty good. So. <laughs> well, let's show us some exercises that the folks at home can do at home using body weight so you so, don't have to go to the gym. Yeah, this is kind of a spinoff of a program that we started to do at my internship at Western Illinois University at the Campus Recreation Center. I'm going to show you some exercise basics you can do at home. No weights, no equipment, just your body weight. In heels, too. Hey, and you look, can even do it in heels. So we're going to start with... First, hold on. Wait, okay. we, we've, we've this reproduced is, here. This is our Miss Illinois Princess, Kinley Kerfman. And when I won Miss Illinois, she automatically became the Miss Illinois Princess because Sweet. she was my Miss Quincy Aww. Princess. So she's going to do these Congratulations mini on the upgrade. style. So we're going to start with the basic lunge, okay? okay? So when you do a lunge, you want the weight oh, in the front this? heel. Yeah, yeah, we're doing so you this. want the weight out of the toe. You want a 90 degree angle on both legs, 90 and 90. Mm -hmm. So you can do these walking. These <laughs> and in heels. Okay. <laughs> Traveling. <laughs> yeah, really? Or you yes. can do them stationary. Now if you want to get, <laughs> if you want to get really like boot camp style, you can actually jump these mm -hmm. and switch legs. So it's plyometric. If kids are in sports, that's you really good to work on agility, speed, quickness. Okay. So next we'll do another thing for the legs and it's just your basic squat. So when you do a squat, you want to have your feet parallel. You want to squat down and have, again, the weight in the heels and get that booty as low as you can. All right? Weight out of the toes and stand it up and take it down. Again, you want to make this harder? You can do jumping squats all the way up. Yeah. Touch I, the ground yeah, and back up. Front pants, I think I'll skip That's the jumping. Right. <laughs> all right. We're just yeah, moving around really trying to get yeah. as much as we can. We're going to work the abdominals and the upper body in a plank, okay? I don't Planks know. I can do. Okay. This will be funny. Okay, so you can either do an upper plank like this, all right, but if you want to take it to the next level, you take it down on your, there you go. You want to keep <laughs> your bottom down and your tummy lifted, a nice straight line from the head <laughs> to the tail. So good. From here, I'm going to show the proper form for a push-up. So we have our elbows out. You want to go all the way down to where you can get your chest to the ground and push it up. Now, if this is too hard, you can modify your push-up by dropping okay. your knees. You just want to be careful that you don't get up here. You want to stay down in a straight line. And again, chest to ground. Good job. <laughs> Go, Kim. And push it up. <laughs> I know. So that's going to work definitely your chest, your triceps, your biceps. And if you really want to work the back of your arm, which is your tricep, mm -hmm. you can use a bench like the one we have over here. I'll show you real fast. These are tricep dips. And you actually get your arms straight mm -hmm. back behind you. You can have your legs straight or 90 degrees, and you're just going to dip down and push all the way up. Awesome. We are going to take a work on these. Like we're going to keep working out out here with Miss Illinois. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for coming in and sharing Thank all these you. great tips with us. We'll be right back after this.